Thomas Rhett with Reba, Hillary Scott, Chris Tomlin, and Keith Urban, and Be a Light. Up three spots to number three. Nice Horse is an all-female band from Alberta who won the Group of the Year trophy at the Alberta Country Music Awards in 2019. The Fab Foursome are Krista Wadalit, Katie Rocks, Tara McLeod, and Brandy Sidoric. I spoke with Brandy this week. So you started, you were going to be an opera singer, is that right? That was the original plan. I had, I went to university, I, I got my undergraduate degree and my master's degree in opera. And now, here I am in country music. In country music. Well, I, I can't imagine that <laughs> learning or, or training your voice um, with opera in mind was a bad thing. I, I would imagine it's given you incredible range. Yeah, you know what? I, I actually really do call on on uh, those skills that I learned in university in weird ways. I think it really does help me with my harmony singing. It really does help when we're, when we're uh, doing arrangements for live shows for the band. I try to call on all of those skills I learned in university in the classical world and kind of bring them to the country world, which I never thought I would be doing. But I, here here I am. And I'm not the only one in Night Force that does that too. Um, Krista, our drummer, she's actually a classically trained bassoonist. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And before we started Night Horse, she was actually playing in, in a couple of different symphonies across Canada. Incredible. My goodness. You guys are way yeah. more, you're, you're way more interesting than most of the people I talk to. Due respect to all the other <laughs> artists who are listening right now. Well, I mean, I don't know if we're more interesting, but I do think we all love music and we came, uh, we came to be a band from so many different places. Yeah. And, uh, and not even all of us started in country. I know Katie and I grew up on country music. It's what we love. It's what we were built on and it's what we're made of. And I, I think that that's really like been the focus and the, and the grounding of how we got back to country. Both Chris and Tara, uh, country was a fairly new thing for them when they when they joined Nice Horse. And they've, uh, I mean, both of them are amazing students of music and uh, and just kind of gobbled up everything they could learn about country music. But I think it affects our sound because we've got two girls who just have loved country music since the beginning and two that are new lovers of country music and I think it, it makes our sound a really unique. Yeah, I was listening to a little bit of your music and I thought the harmonies were something that stood out to me because that's something I always liked from the Dixie Chicks and the Chicks now, sorry. Um, that's something that I always appreciated about them and if your classical training is allowing you to attack harmonies in a better way. What a great uh, uh, position for you guys to put your band in. Because, the, like, I know you've said a bunch of times that, uh, and I've read some of the articles about you guys, and it's there are no other self-contained uh, four-part female bands in country. There is there isn't another one right now, right? You guys are unique in that, yeah. in that lane. But if you, can, if you can nail those harmonies as well, talk about coming from a position of strength. Yeah, I, well, thank you. Because we feel, we do feel really proud of being a self-contained all-female band. We know there's not a lot of us out there, um, very, very few. Yeah. Uh, and we hope that someday there's more because we think that it's a, you know, there's, there should be. There's so many talented women out there and some I, I think that uh, hopefully they, when they see other bands like us doing it, they, you know, they decide that maybe that's a good idea for them too because I would love to see more, more nice horses on the radio. Well, you guys feel like a lot of fun. The video um, for Cowgirl is fantastic. That's a, kind of a neat way to, to approach a video when you can't get together to shoot a video. Yeah, I mean, you know, everyone I know, not just us, all artists have had to be really, um, really creative in what we've done and, and how we how we play our music and run our businesses in this time. And the music video, I mean, I've always wanted to be a superhero. Right. So it just made perfect sense. <laughs> <laughs> it is awesome. How did you guys come up with the uh, the treatment for that? Who did you work with? Um, so we worked with Tivoli Films, and they were absolutely amazing. It was something we actually started. We jumped on pretty much as soon as this, as soon as the pandemic started, and we all started going into isolation. Because for us as a band, we all live across Canada. Tara lives in just outside of London, Ontario. Krista and I are in Calgary and Katie's in Vancouver. So wow. we knew instantly that we were going to have to come up with some uh, some new ideas if we wanted to still be making music uh, kind of together in this time. So the, the idea for the music video came very quickly. And we really said when we were when we were sitting down to do this treatment for this video, 
our priority was we wanted to do something that we could never do in real life in a yeah. music video. Um, I mean, I guess we could if we had, you know, we only need like, you know, a cool million dollar budget, <laughs> I think, to do a superhero music video. <laughs> but we wanted to do something that we could never do just as ourselves. And so this, it was a really fun uh, idea to do the superheroes that, you know, fight fight an evil robot. I think you're right. I think you're right. Okay, let's talk about the single, Cowgirl. Um, feels like a very good calling card for you guys. Oh, thank you. I feel, I do feel very proud of this song. I think this sounds like, this song sounds so much like us. It's got all of our, our hearts and personalities in it. And I also really, truly stand by and believe the message. For people who haven't heard the track yet, what is the message? Basically, we want everybody to know that anyone can be a cowgirl. Anyone is welcome in country music. It doesn't matter who you are or where you are from or what you like before or what you like now. It Everyone is welcome. And to me, I think that's such a great message, you know, in general, but especially it ended up being a really important message for the time we're in as well. You know, knowing, letting everybody know that you are truly welcome. The uh, the doors open. Come on in. We're going to hang. Everybody's welcome. I like exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. That's good stuff. Exactly. And have you had a chance to play it live? We have actually. You know what? We played it live pretty much for the first time actually at the CCMAs last year. If you can believe it. Oh wow! Really? Yeah, was it was there? There was a showcase. Yeah. Yeah, we did. We actually played it at the. We played the industry award, and we played it there. And uh, and it was kind of a it was kind of maybe a bold choice because it was such a new song for us, but we uh, we really wanted to to play it and share it, and so that was kind. Of, so we've been we had put it in our shows since then, um, knowing that we were you know kind of testing it out um, to know if we should record it or not. No, that's awesome. So that's that's, a, good, that's uh, a good way. You got a lot of tastemakers in the room at that thing. So uh, uh, if you yeah, if you absolutely. get their attention, you know you've done something right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if we didn't, they would tell us. Yeah, they would tell you. <laughs> they would tell you. <laughs> That's awesome. Here is Nice Horse and Cowgirl.